Hi everybody, <clears throat> Jerry here. Uh, I'm gonna be fishing obviously at the beach today. This is just fantastic beach fluke water. Um, the tide is coming in. I'm just getting started. I'm gonna be throwing uh, my sting silvers and I'm gonna start with a red teaser today. Um, make sure those hooks are sharp. I changed the one on the bottom. Um, but these are very ideal conditions. The water's coming in. It's breaking here, beautiful lip, nice drop, outer bar. Um, but the fish can relate with this high breaking surf. I think there's like 10 foot, 12 foot, 6 foot holes out in the lip and the outer bar. Uh, that's what we're going to concentrate on today. Uh, maybe we'll pull out something good, hoping to get some bigger fluke. But uh, just getting started, let's get out and let's see what happens. So I've been working at the inside of the beach uh, where the waves are breaking. Um, if you get them close in, that's the way to go. Uh, but I'll take a few casts on the outside. And I don't pick up many uh, inside the deepest part, but you pick them along the edge of the drops, I think, more so. So I'm thinking you have the edge of the outer bar, the edge of the beach, and actually right now the edge of the beach is more, you can see there's not much disturbance out there. But there still is submerged disturbance. So I'm expecting to get most of my fish today close in, but and it's a lot easier. You're going to get more casts and you're going to be in the, the hot zone more often when you can fish close to the beach. But you don't want to rule out the outside. Just a jig. You're on the beach. Uh, I don't know if you can see my line. It's almost just straight out. It's not sweeping. I cast to my left. It'll sweep over to the right. And then it hits a point where it stops moving. Um, those are great spots to fish. Um, you can see there's probably back cross or back flow or something. It's almost something. Something's going on that's creating some kind of turbulence out there that will hold fish. So I'll fish those spots a little bit longer. I think that's a prayer. That's pretty sure that's a crab. But I'll fish those spots a little longer. They'll hold a lot of life. I was right, it's a crab. Life, so. I don't know if you can see it too. Also to look for, um, if you find uh, uh, sand fleas or, or mole crabs, whatever you want to call them, washing around in the water. Um, they're all over the place, but if you find a spot where you see them right there, I don't know if you can, but if you find a spot where they're washing around, there's going to be fish just outside the lip there. And I'm hitting all my fish right close in today so far. Probably when the water drops out and that bar opens up, that's going to be a, a could be a better fish. But I'm concentrating uh, maybe 60, 70 feet, 80 feet today so far. But uh, keep your options open. No rules. Okay, we got a rake coming in. You might have taken the bait. It's coming in wide and easy. We're hooked in the front. Took some nice runs. Washing in. Okay. 
little one. Also, quick one, if you find a spot where there's junk it's just sitting in the water, those are usually pretty good spots because there's some kind of break in what's ever going on with the motion of the water. And those are good spots to take advantage of. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of weeds and kind of weird looking seaweed. and That means that it's kind of a sill spot with moving water, probably churning different ways underneath it. They make great spots to, you know, fire out a few casts and see if any fish are holding. Oh, these things are just all over. Let me get my hook back. Hopefully he's not underneath the belly. He'll be on his way if he's not. Find out. All right. All right, there he goes. We'll just fly back in with the next wave. No, no, show him. Just want to keep an eye from the stinger. He's got it. It's all hip now. One thing too with all these rays around, if you keep your cast short, your chances of snagging one is going to be minimal or less than if you cast way out. So you're doing more fishing for what you want to do and less picking out the rays. Another thing to look for um, is not always in front of you, but behind you. These here cut banks, you can see here, it's cut, it gets smooth, a little bit more than that, but they're indicative of a, a little bit of a deeper drop. Um, there might be a little bit deeper water in front of these. You see it's smooth and comes in. There's a little bit of a point out there, but that's about, not always in front of you, you have to look. I mean, actually, you can work a whole beach backwards if you know what you're doing. Ah. 
Those rays are really making it tough to fish for the fluke. Uh, you pick out, you, you, there's one out there now. You pick one up, you know, you're talking 20 minutes before you're back in the water there fishing. And, uh, you know, if you're lucky, 20 minutes sometimes. So it's really, you get three, four, drop three, four. That's a half a day fishing that you lost. So I'm trying to keep my cast really tight to the beach. But, uh, all right, I'm gonna take a little bit of a walk. And another thing to look for is you'll see the gravel and the clam shells. Um, those are holding here for a reason. Um, uh, they're, they're heavier than sand. So they can, that means that it's either deep or there's the faster current and, uh, and that, that those higher particulate matter can withhold it much better than the sand. So there, there's, there could be a hole or fast current or a few other reasons for that to be here. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not sandy sandy underneath my feet. You can see the, the water looks kind of really good and washy and that's stuff just, I like to look for. Oh yeah, this is so good. This could be a good fluke. I don't Oh wow, what is this? Wow, it's a good one. Watch out for that lip. Wait, he's a blue! He's got a blue! <laughs> Oh, it was a bluefish. A little bigger. I don't know what. What is he? Oh, he might be a bluefish. Yeah, he's a blue. I think he took the teaser. We gotta get him in. Wow. He took the teaser and bounced around and grabbed the. And make some good shark bait. Oh. Those things are mean. Now keep in mind, uh, when, when I fish the beach and uh, I'm looking for places that will hold, the beach is a very dynamic place. Uh, in fact, it, it changes momentarily. Uh, areas will pop up that'll hold fish that may only last you know, five, six seconds if you're lucky. Um, so there's, there's a ton of, ton of, of uh, other things that I look for, but that's just, these are just a couple things that uh, you can work off of and you see commonly. That makes sense in a big one too. It's a nice rock. Big or whatever it is. Let's get him coming in now. Probably, oh, it's one of those jumbo, jumbo, whoa, jumbo robins. Really big. Well, not as big as he is. Now, the same things I'm looking for for uh, these here fluke and whatnot, really any fish will relate, any kind of fish that's looking for something to eat well, will relate to um, this. So you can basically um, look for these things anywhere in the world, in any body of water. Um, uh, a lot of it's specific to the beach, but um, you use your imagination, uh, you can apply much of the stuff to anything. Uh, with any kind of moving water. This might be a stargazer. Took a good hug on the bottom of the belt and put on the stuff. That's where you lose them right now. Yep, he's a stargazer, alright. Fair size. 
like he's about two pounds. I'm looking for like little twirls way out there. I'll take a nice cast and try to sink them around it. You can see changes of the water out in the distance. Like there. I mostly fishing close in but I am seeing the bar is starting to open up so it's hopefully those rays aren't going to connect with. I haven't had a fluke in a while. It just feels like he is. everybody uh, this is the end of part one I'm gonna get going uh, stay tuned for part two and uh, thanks for watching please like dislike comment to love them all whatever you have to say uh, subscribe or unsubscribe to the channel I really don't care I'm not running a popularity contest and uh, remember always fish your way thanks again for watching and stay tuned for part two now have a good afternoon, night, or whatever it is. Thanks again for watching. some sunlight so hoping to pick a few more fish. The tide should be dropping out soon.